We at the University of Wisconsin want you to know we are committed to your personal success. Successful learning involves creating retrievable memories, remembered things that you can retrieve and use in the future. To build a successful memory of your learning, you need to be quizzing yourself, trying to remember it even before you have a strong memory of it. These attempts to recall the still forming memory are necessary to build the memory. Of course, this will be challenging. It means you will subject yourself intentionally to failure. Failure to recall things before you have a full memory of them. That kind of failure is okay. It's perfect. It's part of the process you need to go through in order to build strong, retrievable memories. The right type of memory practice builds connections between memories, which is the foundation of learning to think when you encounter new information. Summarizing is an easy to apply retrieval technique that builds connections between the memories in your brain. It works like this. At the end of one class, either right at the end or later that day, write down a brief summary of the main ideas or points of that class's discussion. Limit the summary to one side of a page or just half a page. If the subject is about how to solve a certain category of problems, summarize the solution procedure. If the subject is a set of formulas for calculating something, write them down. Make it a retrieval practice. In other words, try to write the summary without looking at any notes, purely from memory. Only after you can't remember anything more should you look back at the information, refresh your memory, and finish the summary. Do the same after the next class. Then, after a week of classes, create a single, combined, and condensed summary. Summarize the entire week's high points into a single page or half page. Of course, you'll have to prioritize what things you now define as the high points. Then, after two or more weeks, take the multiple weekly summaries and combine them into a single summary in preparation for an upcoming assessment. Again, restrict your space to a single page or less and do it as a self-quizzing retrieval practice by not looking at the prior weekly summary notes while writing the assessment summary. At the end of the semester, in preparation for a final exam, do it again, combining and condensing the several assessment summaries into one single-page semester summary. This process of making sequentially condensed summaries of accumulating information does several things in your brain's neuron circuits. First, it promotes growth of synapse connections between the memories of the different topics presented during the semester. After repeated tries, those connections are strong enough to produce understanding. The understanding that comes from this summarizing practice prepares you to solve new problems that you haven't seen before. Your brain will have been trained to quickly notice clues that relate this new problem to problem solutions you have already placed in memory.